Hi, I'm Sundata, here at Billy Real Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Computer Programming 1 series. Right now is lecture number 12. Let's proceed to our topic for today, Conditional Statement Part 5. Now, multi-way selection. Multi-way if more than two alternatives. Example, student score 0 to 55, failing as a message. 56 to 65, unsatisfactory. 66 to 100, satisfactory. If else has two alternatives, to do a multi-way string together if else statement. So we have here the multi-way chart. Score is less than or equal to 55. If it is true, then it's fading. Then it will go to end. If it is false, then the score is less than or equals to 65. If it is true, then it's called unsatisfactory. And it will go to the end. And if not, just in case it is false, then it will go directly to satisfactory. So we have failing, unsatisfactory, and satisfactory. Now, multi-way if else, if a score is less than or equals to 55, print f failing. Else, if a score is less than or equals to 65, print f unsatisfactory. Else, print f satisfactory. Indenting if else combination. If uh, multi-way if else statement sometimes indented, it should be look like this. So it's on the beautification. The indentation goes to the printf, printf, printf. And if, else if, and else are considered to be in the position. So if score is less than or equals to 55, printf fading. Else if score is less than or equal to 65, printf unsatisfactory. Else, printf is satisfactory. Rule of 4 else, else matches most recent if. So, it's better to have indentation if it is not the key term, okay, like if, else, if, and else. So, this is considered to be printing on the screen. We indented it at the beginning. Conditions check in reverse. The score is greater than 65. So before it's less than. Right now it's greater than. Then if it's true, satisfactory. If false, it will go to score is greater than 55. If it is true, unsatisfactory. If false, it is a failing. So if this is considered to be better than the previous one. Ordering conditions. If score is greater than 65, print F satisfactory. Else if score is greater than 55, print f unsatisfactory else print f failing but must check condition in correct order if a score is less than 55 print f unsatisfactory else if a score is greater than 65 print f satisfactory else print f failing the score of 70 would produce unsatisfactory now the best thing here is that make it in a sequence because if else identifies also in a sequence formation. Multi-way with if statements. Possible but inefficient. If a score is less than or equals to 55, print failing. If double parenthesis, so we use as end. The score is greater than 55 and the score is less than or equals to 65. So this is end. Print F unsatisfactory. If a score is greater than 65, print f satisfactory. Now program robustness. It means to say this is more easily understandable but they have the same output. Example, assume a score is in interval is 0, comma 100 under the sub subset but doesn't check. Add test if a score is greater than equals 0 and score is less than equals to 100 then print message else print f bad score then it will display the score. Complete code. If a score is greater than or equal to 0 and score is less than or equal to 100, by the way, the use of end make the program more accurate in terms of percentage, even or. So it's better to use end and or sometimes to make it more frequently unjustifiable, I mean to say, 100% perfect. If a score is less than or equal to 65, print F failing. Else, if a score is less than or equal to 65, print F unsatisfactory. Else, print F satisfactory. And because it's better to use begin at end if you're going to start with if. Since this is a multiple if, if1 and if2, multiple if, so it's better to use begin and end curly braces else print bad score then it will print the score nesting example right here if a is greater than zero if it's true 
then a divided by 2. If it is false, a is ex exactly equal to 0. If false, then we have ns is equals to ns plus a. If it is true, print the display on the screen. Now, right here, if it is true, it will go to s1 is equals to s1 plus a. If it is false, then s2 is equal to s2 plus a. Now, matching else example, x is less than 0. If it is false, then it will go to increment. Okay, ne negation count, then increment, pause count. But it will go to the end. So, false, increment, then end. If true, then it will go to another decision, y is less than 0. If false, end. If true, increment, pause count. So, this is what you called, it's better to put many decisions just in case it is true because that is verifying under the data law matching single else is it to make mistake if x is less than zero if y is less than zero post count increment when you said post count increment plus plus it will add one to zero so zero plus one is one one plus one is two that is what you call post count increment if you seen positive and positive connected together before its variable then it is what you call increment it could be possible also decrement two negative sign combined together with the variable it is decrement decrement subtract one so zero plus minus one is and that is negative one else neg count plus plus despite indenting else matches wrong if post count updated when x is less than zero and y is greater than equals to zero now matching single else solution if x is less than zero if y is less than zero so this is multi a post count increment else empty else neg count plus plus okay so then it will continue to if x is less than 0, begin, that's why I told you, if you seen if with the condition, after condition, you need to put begin to make it more accurate. So, this one is more accurate than this one. So, if x is less than 0, begin, if y is less than 0, pause count plus plus, end, then else, neg count plus plus so the same process with this if x is greater than equals to zero neg count plus plus else if y is less than zero post count plus plus so the better way of uh, using matching single else solution but the answer is considerable it is not single else but it is a multi-way this one the last part is a single way choosing condition selection example see statement one way x is greater than zero if Two way x is greater than zero if else x is less than equals to zero. Multi way zero is less than equals x and less than equals to ten. Nested if else. It means to say continuation. So ten next to ten is eleven. Then by ten is the division. So less than equals x and less than equals twenty. That is ten. Okay. And right here, twenty one. This is by ten and it's nested. Mean to say Continue. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Congratulations. You successfully finished our lecture number 12.